feels like we see teases that Jeff Hardy might be turning heel, but he's kind of one of those turns that never really happened in WWE. Why do you think that is? Is he a too big of a fan favorite, too big of a merch mover to even consider that? I don't know if he's too big. I think maybe, uh, my, my guess on this question would be another one with reliability issues. Okay. How far do you go with someone that you don't totally trust? And I think that's where Vince was. Cause I gotta, I gotta go through all this stuff. I gotta be, Vince is not going to call Jeff Hardy and say, uh, here's this, here's the, here's the issue. And here's my thoughts on it. He's going to have Jr. do it. So I take the heat. I didn't mind it. I was getting paid really well. So, uh, I think Jeff's issue was Jeff and his credibility was the fact that can he be trusted and is he clean and sober and can he stay clean and sober? Well, we know the answer to that answer is no, he didn't stay clean and sober. He had all kinds of issues. He's still, he's still, still, uh, uh, they're still ongoing, even though he's getting help, which I think is wonderful. Yes. He's one of my favorite talents to work to, to, uh, to call matches for. I remember the match with he and taker where I said something like climb the ladder, make yourself famous or something to that effect. And, uh, just, uh, admired his work so much. I adored it. It's just really, it was really good. He knew how to play his game and undertaker to his credit was just, uh, outstanding in that match. It put Jeff Hardy on the map and it's like this. I've heard guys say this and it's true. It's not who goes over. It's who gets over Jeff Hardy lost, but he got over in a big way against taker. And that's credits to taker. 